The APC committee has disqualified Obasaki, others from a dual governorship primary education election. The All Progressive Congress Screening Committee for the Governorship Primaries has disqualified Governor Godwin Obasaki over discrepancies in his academic certificate. The governor, who is seeking second term in office, is also urged out on the ground of taking the party to the court for the choice of the primaries. Joining us uh, to give us more detail is T Plus TV Africa, Amadine Uyi, who is right at the venue of the screening exercise. Amadine, good afternoon. Um, what is going on? Uh, just like you said, the screening committee just submitted its report uh, to the APC national chairman and highlighted that out of the six candidates that were expected to vie for the uh, uh, governorship uh, ticket on the platform of the All Progressives Congress, three has been uh, screened out. Uh, the committee listed uh, the three candidates, uh, Chris Ogenwi, who was a former minister of works, uh, and the big fish, uh, the current governor of uh, Edo State, uh, Governor Godwin Obaseki. Now, uh, when the committee wanted to present the report, the national chairman insisted that they should read it in the, uh, before the press so that it would not be assumed that after their report was submitted, it was doctored by the national, uh, executive, uh, the, uh, the national executives of the All Progressives Congress. Remember that before now there had been suspicion that Governor Godwin Obaseki would be disqualified. Uh, even the press, uh, the... The statement the governor made about two days ago to members of the press after his screening, because he came out uh, unhappy, it was clear that he was not happy with the route which the committee was going. But the committee uh, presented valid reasons, talking about the names on the certificates, the governor refusing to submit his O level certificate, and also a name on the NYC discharge certificate, uh, which read that Obasek instead of Obaseki. Uh, so the committee said that they do not want a repeat of the Bayesa incidents and uh, recommended that he be dropped down, he be disqualified from taking part in the upcoming primaries. Has there been a reaction from the government, governor of um, Edo State? Because just before we came on air, I saw a report on the Vanguard newspaper um, alluding to a statement uh, predicting his disqualification by the APC and accusing Adams of Shomale of being behind it. But today, I said, now that the um, comment has been made, he's been disqualified officially, has there been a reaction from him? Now, the, the information just came barely 10 to 15 minutes ago. The governor, yes, uh, were in that press conference where he said that he did not think he would get justice. But sometimes when we look at the political troubles of the governor the, the cri and also the crisis within the All Progressives Congress, let's not forget the place of merit, the place of the committee doing its work. There was no evidence that the national chairman was part of the process. In fact, there are about three steps. This is just the first step, which is the screening committee. Now that the screening committee has submitted its report to the APC national executives, then there's an appeal committee where the governor still has a room to appeal whatever decision has been arrived at the screening committee. Even if the appeal committee insists that the governor is uh, legitimately screened out, the APC national chairman in, in, in inaugurating these committees said that the National Working Committee of the party still has a right to veto whatever decisions these two committees come up with. So there's still a, a thread of a lifeline for the governor. If he doesn't pass the appeal committee, he can still lobby his way before members of the National Working Committee. But the, the worry that a lot of people are having, you're just, as you're talking, I'm thinking about it. This governor went through the screening exercise to get to the first term and he has been serving for the past four years with that same certificate that was presented. So why is it now that the committee is screening and finding fault with a certificate they previously allowed to scale through? Remember that 2015, is totally different from, from 2019. And there has been a lot of precedent because the All Progressives Congress had in 2019 lost the Bayelsa election. 
And just due to some of these technical reasons, after uh, the, the governor of Bayesa State for the first time under the All Progressives Congress, the state had been in the hands of the PDP since the advent of this republic in 1999. But when it got to the Supreme Court, the Supreme Court looked at the credentials of the governor of Bayelsa and said that there were discrepancies in his name. And he ran under the, under the umbrella of the All Progressives Congress. So a lot of Nigerians had expected that any screening henceforth by the party would go through a very thorough process. So if in 2015 he scaled through, through this certificate, remember that in 2019 the APC had lost a state which they had been trying to reclaim for the past 21 years. So there, there was most likely that the certificates would be scrutinized once again and if there was any discrepancies, the APC as a party would not want to go the route of Bayelsa again. From all you've seen that's been playing out in Edo State, do you expect the incumbent to um, appeal the decision of the committee or uh, pitch his tent somewhere else? Now, if we take the word of the governor, uh, just what he said two years ago, he said he's a party man. So it is expected that he would appeal to the appeal committee and he will still try to see how he would press his buttons with the National Working Committee. Remember that the National Chairman has said it that the National Working Committee still has a right to veto any decision made by the, by the screening committee and the appeal committee. So all hands will be on deck and we know that in the next few days the appeal committee will begin to sit and all, all Nigerians will be hoping to look at how these events will play out. All right, Amadine, thank you very much. Uh, we will get back to you to get all the latest details on the screening exercise. Do stay safe. Thank you, Felicity.